It's nearly time to roll out the red, white, and blue. We asked designer and decorator Michelle Inkley to inspire us with some new and different ideas that are, are on her radar. All right, I want to chat. I want to chat okay. because I think I noticed this year people were pulling out the red, white, and blue on Memorial Day, and I'm seeing it just hold. What, what's your timeline? When, when do we pull it out? So absolutely. I think Memorial Day is the perfect time to yeah. go red, white, and blue. Carry it through the 4th of July, and hey, we're in Utah, so it's okay. Take it to the 24th. That's a full two-month runway. I loved it, actually, so seeing people fun. go all out this year. It felt like kind of a, a shift from years past where we pull it out for the 4th, maybe leave it through the 24th. Let's get another month out of it. It is so much fun, and it just screams summer, so yeah, totally to do it. All right, a couple of ideas that you have. Three, in fact. You are creating this year, or you have created a swag kind of faux flag. Yes. So we need to remember that when we're using the American flag, you don't want to use the real American flag swagged in your decor or on your table. I think it's a little bit disrespectful, yeah. but there are so many other things that you can create. This is a banner in my house, so it's not quite the shape of an American flag, but yeah. it looks like an American flag. It's like really skinny. But you're saying don't take the traditional shape, the traditional flag. Yeah, and, don't yeah. take a real flag. I think that's, you know, if you have family that served in the military, you want to respect that American yes. flag. Yes. But there are so many other ways to bring the flag in that it will just inspire you to be more patriotic in your home. And this is a cool time to decorate in that you only need those three colors. I mean, ah, any item in those three colors, anything. right, gives yes. you gives you that vibe, gives yeah. you that feel. Tell me about the fireworks you're creating this okay. year. So Candace has the cutest fireworks on her page. They're dowels. So you can make fireworks out of just dowels, cut them, spray paint them, add some ribbon. Done. Super duper easy, super cute. You can also use them with paper. Just roll up some paper, glue it together. Add a little sparkler on top, Look at add this. a tea towel, and then you've got this cute little corner in your kitchen <gasps> that screams 4th of July for little, little money. Lemon drops and lilies inspiring us with this idea, and those tapered candles are so popular right now. Aren't so they a cute? fun way to bring yeah. them into vogue for yeah, the 4th of July. So easy. You saw a jute star that got your wheels yeah. turning. So Lori has this really cute jute star, again, with me using jute and all the things. Yes. Just take a form from the dollar store or make it out of wire and just wrap, wrap, wrap all that rope or jute to keep it in that neutral palette throw that in with a little red, white, and blue, and you've got another cozy corner that screams Americana. Lori Walker, thanks for inspiring us. And look how chunky that is, too. There's also something about this time of year that sort of allows you. It's like when Valentine's rolls around, we can be a little more cheesy with our decor. Yeah. I think when the 4th of July rolls around, we can be a little more rustic, and it seems to work no matter I your style. I think it's fun, and I think if you gather all the red, white, and blue things you have, yeah. like vases and plates, it all works. All right, Michelle and your creative friends, thank you for inspiring us. Nice and early, we can get these projects going for the 4th of July.